Hello and welcome to the viewers of this video. This is the Orange Fan here, bringing you another entry for the episode Recap and Thoughts category. This video will be dedicated to the A segment of episode 19 of The Loud House, Lincoln Loud Girl Guru. We begin this segment with Lincoln and Clyde in the Loud House kitchen where they're making chocolate pies. This is because they're partners in a school project that requires them to run a successful business in order to pass. And they decide to make chocolate pies because in their line of thinking, who doesn't love chocolate? <laughs> now, they have the majority of the work done. They have the crusts all prepared for the pies. They just have to find the chocolate so they can complete the pie making or reach the steps to eventually complete the pie making. But as Lincoln goes to get the chocolate, he finds out that there's only empty wrappers and he quickly suspects that this is the handiwork of his sisters because he says they all like chocolate. We then see um, scenes throughout the Loud House which shows us all 10 of the Loud sisters confirming Lincoln's suspicions. They found the chocolate and they ate it all because they like their chocolate. But this leaves Lincoln and Clyde in a predicament. How are they going to make chocolate pies without chocolate? <clears throat> they decide that their only choice is to find something to substitute the missing chocolate with. They go with salt and vinegar because, in their words, it works for potato chips. But it doesn't work for pies, naturally, and the customers who try them make that very clear. We then see Lincoln and Clyde come up with other ideas, namely trying to make birdhouses and making balloon animals, but that doesn't go very well either. On the day where they have their stand set up at school with the balloon animals, actually, Liam from Overnight Success comes by their stand. He mistakes the balloon animals for something else at first, but he's still willing to purchase a balloon animal even when he finds out what it really is because he's hoping it'll help him to break the ice when he goes to talk to a girl that he likes and want to ask her if she'd be interested in going out on a date with him. Lincoln suggests to Liam that he bring some chocolate because his sisters are big fans of chocolate and Liam decides to give it a try. He comes back to see Lincoln not too long after to confirm Lincoln's advice was successful the girl liked chocolate, and she's willing to date, give dating Liam a chance. And that's where Lincoln responds at first with being a bit humble about it. Liam thinks too humble, and Liam proclaims Lincoln to be a girl guru. And that's where we get the title for the segment. And Lincoln and Clyde's next business plan Lincoln gives advice to customers about girls based on his experience with his sisters. Now, the student body, we do see a couple of familiar faces looking for advice, such as the bike gain trio, Papa Wheelie, Flat Tire, and Rusty Spokes from Hand Me Downer, and um, Zach, who was also from Overnight Success, are among examples from the student body looking for some advice. And it turns out even one of the staff wants advice to the gym teacher, Coach Bukowski, voiced by Jeff Bennett. Now, while the advice itself, when Lincoln's giving the advice, he just recalls random memories with his sisters and then just uh, shouts them out without any context. And... There's a reason I bring that up. We'll get to that when we get to the discussing my thoughts part. But anyway, after Lincoln gives some advice, we see that the advice doesn't go very well with any of the male students who try to try out the advice. And we find out that Coach Bukowski wanted to romance Mrs. Johnson, whose first name is revealed to be Agnes in this segment. Now, this ends up with uh, males and females alike chasing down Lincoln and uh, Clyde. The males are not happy that the advice they were given didn't go so well. The females are not happy with the end results of said advice. 
So Lincoln and Clyde eventually have to disguise themselves or hide in trash cans to make their way back to the Loud House. And the sisters question this. Lincoln tries to pass it off as they wouldn't be interested, but they say they're interested and they want to know. So when Lincoln explains his intent to give advice because of his experiences with them, they laugh and ridicule him and it goes on for quite a bit. They then end it by saying how how they're not all going to be the same just because they're all girls and using their own differences as an example of that. And Lincoln's wondering how he and Clyde can salvage this school project. Lynn Sr. ends up trying some of the leftover salt and vinegar pies and he makes an offhanded comment how they have to toss them because they don't taste so well. And that's where Lincoln gets another idea. The business project that Lincoln and Clyde finally settle on is Clyde takes the money from customers who want revenge on the girl guru by pieing him in the face. Students and staff alike uh, line up for this chance and Clyde ends up uh, coming up with sales like get a certain number of pies and you get a free pie and he just tells Lincoln that business is business and well, the segment ends with uh, Agnes giving the boys an A for the project, and Lincoln gets pied in the face. Now, as for my thoughts about this segment, it was not one of my favorites. I, was n I didn't particularly like this segment, I must admit. Now, why that is, well, let's explore that. Now, I hope it's understood. I hope it's clear. I want to make that very clear that the lesson about people not being the same or having the same interests just because of the same gender, like whether it's girls or boys, that's not a bad lesson. It's not a bad lesson at all. Don't get me wrong. But I do feel that lesson kind of falls flat when you try to teach it to the boy who has 10 sisters with distinct personalities because while the segment and the sisters with their laughing later on try to present the idea of Lincoln giving advice based on his experience with his sisters as laughable or ridiculous, I actually don't agree with that. I think in Lincoln's case, I feel it was actually a pretty solid idea. Now, to clarify more about what I mean... If it was a boy who was trying to give advice about girls based solely off of one sister, he his experiences with one sister, I could understand why that would seem ridiculous. But Lincoln has 10 sisters with distinct personalities, so he has a much larger reference pool to go from. And I think it's actually not so ridiculous that he tried to his hand at giving advice because of his experiences. Now, please, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that, like I said earlier, I think the lesson that not everyone's going to have the same interests and that everyone's different, it's a valid point, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I do think it's also a valid point that even with different personalities, it's still possible for people to have overlapping interests or shared interests despite their differences I don't think that's unreasonable either and while the sisters try to use the fact that they are all different to justify what they're trying to tell Lincoln the fact that the loud sisters all do have different personalities also actually brings up a valid point about how they can still have shared interests because even though the Loud Sisters are all distinct from each other in personality, they still do have some things in common with each other and some interests and in that they do like. Now, if you want to reference other segments from the show as an example of this, the Loud Sisters are all shown to be very supportive of Ronnie Cullen, even though they all have different personalities. But if you want to talk specifically about this segment, or if you want to look at just this segment on its own, the Loud Sisters were all shown to still enjoy chocolate despite their distinct personalities. And in reality, not everyone's going to like chocolate, but it's still not an unreasonable guess that there's probably going to be some people that do like chocolate in real life. And I guess that's 
part of why I didn't, part of what I didn't like about it was, while it's true, the point about, while they made it clear about the point that not everyone's going to have the same interests, I do feel like they kind of glossed over, if not outright ignored the point that there it's possible to have overlapping interests, even if you have different personalities, just to kind of justify Lincoln's failure here. And with regards to Lincoln's failure, this actually brings up another point I didn't particularly like about this segment. I did mention this earlier when I was recapping it, that we'd talk about it, but the way Lincoln executed his idea was the problem. Like, like I said, I feel Lincoln's idea wasn't so ridiculous as the segment tried to present it. I feel it was the execution of the idea was what went wrong. Because, as we said, Lincoln was just randomly thinking up memories of his experiences with his sisters and just taking a shot in the dark and no con no context for anything what he should have done was well did a one-on-one -on -one with each of the customers and say tell me about this girl that you like what are her interests and after hearing what the interests of these girls were he could say okay based on what you've told me these interests sound very similar to the interests of whichever sister so perhaps and then uh, give some suggestions based off of those similarities. Now, granted, maybe it wouldn't be a 100% guaranteed success, but at the same time, I think it's more likely to succeed if you actually try to figure out the similarities between the, uh, between, uh, the advice he's giving based off of the experience of a sister with a girl who might have similar interests. Because that ties into what I'm saying earlier. You can still have very different personalities, but it's not unreasonable to, to figure that there might be some shared interests. And if a girl in particular happens to share some interests with one of the Loud Sisters, it's not unreasonable to think that maybe what the Loud Sister likes or is interested in could also be something that the girl with a similar interest may also like and that's what I felt like it was I think Lincoln's idea was actually solid because he has a big reference pool to go off of but he didn't really he didn't really implement that big reference pool very well and the only reason that happened was because the segment just had Lincoln hold the idiot ball to justify his failure. It's similar to my issue with Along Came a Sister, how I think there was, there was nothing unreasonable about Lincoln wanting to watch over the pet spider, if the class's pet spider for the weekend. The problem was he ignored the warning or advice he was given and he let the he let the spider out of the cage even though he was told don't let the spider out of the cage and the whole mess of the segment could have been avoided if he just followed that advice and that's what i didn't like is if lincoln actually bothered to figure out what each girl that these boys or agnes in the case of coach bukowski <laughs> the advice they were looking for and he actually uh, tried to figure out what similarities were in common he would have had a more he and Clyde would have succeeded in this project but instead nope they had to hold the idiot ball just to justify Lincoln's failure and that's why it didn't really sit well with me and yeah I didn't like the whole ending where he got pied in the face it did seem like a bit uh, Again, I kind of veered in sort of the mean-spirited way, and maybe partially that's also because Clyde was kind of also kind of made things worse because Clyde wasn't the one who really had to suffer for it, only Lincoln, so that kind of didn't sit well with me either. I mean, maybe it's not the worst offender of... It's not the worst offender. I do still think there are segments where Lincoln's been put through the grinder much worse, but again, this still didn't really sit well with me and it kind of, 
And yeah, that's mostly just because again they just had it was bad execution really then. So there you have it. I was not really a big fan of this segment. I was kind of disappointed in it. There are segments I dislike even more, but this is definitely not one of my favorites. And 